Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video of probably one of the best SUVs out there. I gotta tell you, man, I drive these all the time. The sound an Italian car makes versus like a German car or whatever, they all trying to do the same thing. And that's why I love cars in general, because I love the fact that everybody's trying to do the same thing, but different. This sound, now you say, well, Tom, how could a V6 have any kind of sound? I'm gonna tell you this, this has a sport button. It changes the exhaust, everybody, as soon as you push the button, looks around and goes, what is that? We're gonna take a quick peek at some of why people say that, some of the big stuff that goes along with it, why it handles so well, why it's a great off-road vehicle, believe it or not, as well as an all-season vehicle too, not to mention, it is probably one of the best daily drivers I've ever used in my entire life, all right? So let's start with some factory paint because uh, these cars are not built in the U.S., although the U.S. builds great, great cars. These are uh, built in Italy. They do a nice job with paint. They do a nice job with electrical. And they do certainly one of the best jobs with styling. All right, let's talk about paint for a second. So a lot of people won't talk about modern car paint because they don't feel like it's necessary. I feel like it's necessary. This is a, a beautifully built vehicle. The paint is really nice. The Bianco white paint with the red leather is spectacular. And the thing I like to say to people is you gotta look at a video, see it under these lights and what have you. What you wanna do is make sure that when you get here and you can read every letter, not just read every letter, but see every letter nice and crisp. The crisper the letter, the better the paint quality. All right, so before we take a quick peek under the hood, because there's a lot of power under here, and we're gonna talk about that, this has some great features on it. So for instance, like of course, it has the standard headlight washers that you would expect from a regular car but it has something called active shutters. So if you're looking through right here, you can't see the radiator. The reason why, the shutters close so that the car heats up faster. If there's no air blowing over the radiator, then the engine can warm up faster and you get heat faster in there. So in the winter time when I've driven these, you get heat in one quarter of the time that you would a normal car, all right? So that's just one small feature there. Let's take a peek under here, right? In between 420 and 450 horse, depending on the model that you get, that's a lot of juice, man. All wheel drive, so you get no wheel spin, so the acceleration is ridiculous. Not to mention, if you throw in uh, another couple or maybe five people in there, the luggage, AC on in the summer, there's like plenty of power to move up and down the mountains, and not to mention the handling that goes in there as well. Twin turbo, V6, all aluminum, and an exotic sound. When we get it outside and you hear the sound, you're like, what? You're exactly right. No German SUV really sounds anything like this. My neighbor just got a really nice BMW SUV and it's beautiful. He came over and said, how can I get my BMW X5M uh, to sound like your Maserati? All right, so I wanna take a peek in here, but before we do that, first off, the styling is great. I love this, man. This script right here, I'm not sure exactly how old it is, but I believe it's 75 years old, uh, maybe even more. I'm guessing, of course, but somewhere in that. And it's held up so well, right? It's kept on forever. It's just like the Ferrari script too. Uh, this also has a surround view camera. So it gives you a 360 degree view of all around the vehicle. They stitch together the parking sensors, this, that, what have you, and you get to see everything that's there. The uh, reason I bring this up is because yes, it's a Maserati, so it sounds, oh my God, it's a super exotic, I can't use it, but anything but a sunny day. Absolutely not, it was built for a completely different reason. It was built to be your daily driver, right? And so easy to use as a functional vehicle. The back seats fold down, the back seats split and fold down. Uh, this is nice because it covers your luggage and stuff back there. You even get uh, tool storage and some uh, other places to hide some of the items that you maybe don't want people to see. You can lock the cars from back here, you can close the gate from back here. LED lighting that's back there too, not like the old school halogen stuff. I don't know, it's just really nice. And even little stupid stuff like these chrome uh, hooks for uh, the nets that hold there. It's just a little nice touch that I feel like the Italians do sometimes a little better than everybody else. All right, so come join me in here because this is where Italians do, not only do they do incredible interiors, but electronics and stuff like that. So let's talk about leather for a second. This has a full leather interior. Most people don't know what that means. They think that, uh, for instance, there's manufacturers that make leather interiors but use vinyl backs to the seats. What, why? Anyway, a full leather interior is seats, console, the dash stitched in leather. The door panels are covered in leather, right? All of these things are covered in leather. The door panels are beautiful. This, because uh, it was ordered this way, has carbon here. This is a big carbon package, carbon here, carbon steering wheel, right? Looks so good in this car and then huge panoramic sunroof which is giganto right that's uh that's italian for big uh i just made all that up probably butchered it again so don't yell 
And then lastly, uh, safety stuff like, you know, parking sense, uh, self-parking, things like uh, cruise control with radar built in that won't allow you to get, to get too close to the car in front of you so it maintains the speed so you don't have to adjust the speed all the time. Uh, pairs with the phone, obviously. You can run uh, your Bluetooth from music from your phone. Uh, this has heated and cooled seats. You can actually set it so that when you get in the morning and the car starts, uh, that the heated seats are already on or the cool seats are already on. Has remote start from inside the house. I've used it many times. It works great. Has adjustable ride control, sport mode, manual mode, like these shifters with the engine and the exotic sound it makes. You will be using these things all the time. It sounds so good as the, the RPMs are rising and falling each and every time. And then you look around inside the leather in here, man, it is just smoking, smoking, good looking. All right, so let's close up this video. We're talking about almost 170 mile an hour SUV, right? High speed radials, giant brakes in here. Look at the size of this thing, cross drilled rotors, all wrapped in an incredible body. Then we get inside, it's spectacular. The sound is what will do, what will do it for you. The sound alone is ridiculous, all right? You push the sport mode button in there and the mufflers open up and it's great. If you need to get on the phone, you want to quiet, take it off sport and that'll go ahead and put it back to, back to normal. And the way to buy these is, man, this car has been driven around 6,000 miles a year and it's like half price of a new one, right? This is the way to buy a car. Let somebody else handle the depreciation. It'll be new to you. It's like new condition and it's really, really awesome. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000, we'll tell you all about this uh, Levante SQ4. And if you would, please like the video there. It helps out a lot. Share it with your friends. And if you would, subscribe. And that way you'll get some feed from each one of our new videos that comes your way.